What's up my people? Bless up on yourself. Welcome back to the channel. Leave a like and also subscribe. Click the top bell icon to get notified whenever there is anything new on the channel. So my people, the first thing I go get into are the female lemma beat the little girl in a them being a Clarendon. Seeing them go to court yesterday, I'm a share with you know what go on, right? Chapar in a was it was it not? was reportedly the directive from 52-year-old Pauline U. Smith as a group of women descend on a teenage girl on Allen Street in Denby Clarendon on December 30. Yesterday, the Clarendon Parish Court was told the child was beaten and fell unconscious several times. Jaja. The prosecution said the child was admitted to hospital and treated and released, but was readmitted. So bad them to the people in Pitney. Hugh Smith and her co-accused charged with unlawful wounded and assault occasioning actually bodily harm were appearing in the Clarendon Parish Court. Charged along with Hugh Smith are Faye and Millwood, Amanda Anderson, three teen girls and a 17-year-old boy. The adults were granted bail in the sum of 1.2 mil each with one or two sureties, while the minors were granted bail in the sum of $600,000 each with the mothers who stood behind them in court as sureties. Anderson, who the court heard had spat in the face of the teenage girl, is also charged with assault at common law. Presiding senior parish judge Helia Finley also placed a gag order on the accused, preventing them from publicly discussing the matter. Finley instructed that they were banned from using WhatsApp or any social media platforms, and an 8 p.m. to 6 a.m. curfew was established for the minors. The attorney representing U. Smith argued that while his client was present, at the scene of the incident, there was no action on her part that could be attributed to the injury sustained by the teen. According to the lawyer, his client only made contact with the injured teen while she was on the ground using her foot to nudge her to see if she was still alive. So maybe that had a woman with it stand up over the teen with the um, just stand up, stand up over her and she did have on the green thing. Maybe as she, you know what I mean? But hear what she said. She had instructed the people to chop her. You see me, what kind of thing that I look up picking with even do you know nothing? Come on, man. According to the prosecution, Hugh Smith, in a caution statement, said, The little girl we get beat up. Her mother, they with my daughter, man. Her lawyer in making bail application for his client told Finley that despite public interest in the matter, the case brought against his client was one that would ordinarily be granted bail. According to the prosecution on the day in question, the injured teen said she observed two of the minors who are known to her walking towards her armed with pieces of board. She reportedly ran and one of the teens said, Oh, you come for a war and a run. The court heard that her cell phone was also confiscated during the confrontation. As per the prosecution, the beaten teen also recalled Anderson, who she described as the fat lady in the pink, spitting in her face. Boy, people, them deal with that little girl, yeah. Very, very, very awful, bad. You know what I mean? Them deal with her bad, wicked. Like, say, she do them something. I don't know, she them did want, you know is our mother you see me what if them did all the mother you see me i see and them big woman there especially the fat one in the pink where the girls are spitting her face she deserves to get more than the rest of the woman them you know what i mean when me see the video i see the girl in the green stand up over her me think say she did her try to stop them from beat her but she did help them you see me i say boy me i tell her them deserve the full length of the law you see me? So let me know what you think in the comment section, my people. And we are going to move over to this man here. Them say a US citizen will get caught up and drop out in Hanover. So I picture this, my people. Zane and them say, him did commit some crime in Hanover. You know what I mean? And take away himself, go America. Seen about 10 years ago. Right? And him come back as a tourist in the area. 
and them pull up on him and call him up. You see me? So, I just go and look up update on that one. So, let me know what you think in the comment section. Right? So, we are going to move on to a double murder. We go on in and over. I think yesterday or the year before yesterday. So, right now, the police them have this for say. Police strengthening presence to prevent reprisal in Anova double murder. The police in Anova have stepped up their campaign against gangs and have taken steps to prevent a reprisal to Wednesday night double murder in Green Island. Those murders are businessman Romain Jones and Ellsworth Foster, alias Boa, a jerk chicken vendor, both were from Green Island area. According to reports, the incident occurred at approximately 10 p.m. as Jones was in the process of buying chicken from Foster when gunmen attacked, shooting both individuals. They were rushed to hospital where they were pronounced dead. The police are reporting that they are following strong leads about the double murder even while a motive for the killing has not yet been established. Deputy Superintendent of Police, Mr. Fletcher, outline that they have since beefed up the security presence in the area we have specialized support outside support the support of the military and support from the hq so we have four additional units with team as big as eight persons and a team now in the space and we have been there since 20 minutes after the incident he said he again emphasized that the police have the capacity to solve crimes but the key rests in getting information and evidence and for that to happen he urged witnesses to come to court the killings are the first of this year in Hanover, which experienced a watershed year in 2023 with a record 173 major crimes committed across the parish so people, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. And the next thing I'm going to share with you people, are the brother here with up on the screen right now. Zin, this man here, drop out in a freak accident in a St. Elizabeth. Zin, he look like him a landscaper. No look like him a landscaper. Zin, him cut yard for your living or whatever. And them say, you see the binding wire, the look of binding wire, them what them use and tie steel. One of them look away at it while they cut the yard. The, the, the weed worker flip the wire and the wire jam him right above him ears. Yes, what I say? And they rush him to the Black River Hospital in St. Elizabeth. And them see some why they can't help him and plan to transfer him to KPH. You know what I mean? And in people them right now, they are blame the hospital but the hospital has said the reason for the delay is that they never have the medical personnel for preparing him for him go kph so let me just read a little part of it see a saint elizabeth man lost his life in a freak accident on tuesday the incident occurred when a weed worker utilized for land maintenance inadvertently uh, flung a piece of binding wire through the ear tragically striking him named Derval Baker's skull just above his right ear. The shocking event took place at a premises in the southwestern section of the parish, leaving family members devastated by the unforeseen and sorrowful turn of event. You see me? So people, Jano, let me know what you think in the comment section. RIP to this man, condolences to his family. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment, subscribe. I like the video.